The special capital region of Jakarta, capital city of Indonesia, was founded in 1527, but the city flag has a much more modern meaning. When Indonesia got its independent sovereignty recognised in 1950, first mayor of the city, Sawiro, announced a contest for a coat of arms, which resulted in 111 submissions. A panel of experts eventually chose a design by artist Dejmato with a number of changes, and this was what was adopted on the 30th of August 1951. It's a shield with the Dementum and Bangantugu obelisk flanked by cotton on the left and rice on the right. At the base of the obelisk is a map of Indonesia with the ribbon of Indonesian flag colours. Above this is a castle or fortress, which I struggle to find any real details on, so if you know what this building was or is, then please let us know in the comments below. Following the construction of the National Monument in 1963, first president of Indonesia, Sukarno, asked the Jakarta governor to include this monument in the coat of arms. This resulted in a new commission replacing the original version on the 26th of June 1963 and amended slightly a year later. As you can see, the old obelisk is replaced with the instructed new national monument, the rice and cotton plants swap sides, and the waves at the bottom represent the numerous rivers as well as the seafront of Jakarta Bay. The words Jaya Raya translates to victorious and great. But what has this got to do with the city flag? Well, that's simple. Instead of coming up with something new, Jakarta simply places the current coat of arms onto a white field, and it is this that you can see flying in the capital. And to see another capital city flag with wavy lines, then check out this Helsinki flag.